it's just, I don't know, it's just different. Tougher. Me, I'll be angry or something, and I just go take my anger out on hitting somebody up. Just oh, oh. This right here is the battleground. No foul. No referees. Is he gonna get back up and keep playing? He's gonna die off. Pick up basketball is a lifestyle. That's what it is to me. I mean, it's a lifestyle. It's not just something we do. We played in the heat, you know what I mean, 100 degrees. We didn't care, you know what I mean? We ain't know nothing about global warming and all that kind Last of fall stuff. tonight, we just going to go you and know. play. It has changed uh, from when we played back in the 70s and 80s to now. You don't see many kids playing anymore uh, on the courts, in the parks. You know, there's no more face-to-face -face conversation. Everything is behind the, the, the technology. Right. People people don't, don't really too much respect the outside, outdoors anymore. There's a difference between playing out here and in the gym. I'm going to say probably the environment. Five. Pick up an organized ball, you might as well split them up, two different categories, None of, nothing, I mean they alike, but the, the playing style is completely different. It's less organized out here, less controlled. Hey, that's it right there? Oh, blood. Oh, blood. Oh, blood. Oh, blood. With, with pick up basketball, once again, in my time, you know, you, you, you learn a lot of one-on-one -on -one tactics. You learn a lot of one-on-one -on -one skills. Uh, you learn how to develop your your uh, basketball uh, pedigree uh, as a one-on-one -on -one player. You learn how to develop a toughness about yourself. And organized basketball teaches you how to play the game, cohesiveness with other people, togetherness with other people. Uh, I mean, pickup's just raw. Um, I mean, you get emotions, you get guys out here from all over the place. Um, organized also, but I feel like, I mean, out here it's call your own fouls. Um, a lot of respect out here, so. Jump again, jump again. That's it. Some guys, you know, they bullies, they just want every call. You know what I mean? So you can't even look at them hard. They're going to call foul if the ball don't go in the net. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, calls are determined by based on personalities. You know what I mean? I ain't going to lie. I'm calling everything. I'm the, I'm, a viewer. I'm the referee out here for real. I mean, if I see it and it's, and it's a bad call or if somebody get their hand hit, you can usually hear it. You be loud. So, you know, if somebody uh, get their arm hit or something, you know, you just call your foul. You say it's a foul. If you don't, you don't get the ball back. Can't be hitting me, man. You can't guard me. You can't hit me. No, I don't call no fouls. <laughs> someone hits me, I let them call it. But uh, if I foul someone, I'll call it. But other than that, I'm not. I'm just gonna let them play. I can remember playing as a young guy, and they would call me president because I tried to be honest about everything. You know what I mean? Calls, fouls. When I was uh, sixth grade, I was 11 years old. Went to the national championship for the uh, Police Athletic Association. And my godmom, God bless her soul, Betty Foy, her uncle was staying in Detroit at the time. And he said, Betty, who is that little peanut head boy that is right there? And ever since then, I had the name Peanut, but I shortened it and called it Nut now. 
Oh, well, there's definitely nicknames. I think a lot of them go way back. You know, there's, there's like I said, the locals mainly. You know, I mean, because they're the guys that grow up around here. So eventually, they they have all the nicknames. But yeah, there's occasionally, you know, everyone's got like if you don't know where someone's from or or their name, the base it where they're from. So like one guy out here, you know, we call him Mish because he always wears Michigan. But I don't even know if you know half the people know his name. You know. You know, motherfuckers always compare you to people. You know what I'm saying? When you ball a certain way or whatever, I'm like, I don't play like that, man. I play like me. Ten and eighteen game, yes, I'm a trash talk. But I trash talk to get myself going. Majority of the time I talk to myself. Yeah. But it's all friendly. It's all friendly. I went trash talk. Say nothing out of the ordinary to nobody. As far as harming them or anything, no. Yeah. Just strictly basketball. Strictly basketball. Strictly sarcasm. Oh man, kids, to me, kids, uh, they don't trash talk like we used to. Right, right. You know what I mean? I mean, we used to, we used to really get out there when you're talking about trash talk. You know, it, nobody was off limits. You know, your parents, your cousin, you know, your. Your, your, your crippled sister, you know what I mean? I All mean, that. Oh, I mean, it was it was whatever to get the edge. It was just but to it, get it, the edge. It was just to get the edge. It was not to. Personal. It was not. It was just to get the mental edge on the opponent. I mean, I don't really trash talk like that. I only trash talk when people start trash talking to me. Then then you, I get fired up though. Like I'm one of them dudes that I don't say I don't say nothing. I just ball, quiet. As soon as you start trash talking to me, I'm gonna trash talk more than you until you want to fight me. Like, yeah, every time I score a bucket on you, I'm going to do my best to carve your ass. I never really led to no gunplay on no, no shit like that. I've seen shit like that, but I'm in my case, not. Nah. You know, you know who to pick your battles with. Nobody ever really trying to get into no nothing serious. It's just everybody want to win. You know, it's a competition. I think as, as guys, we got that naturally inside of us anyway, you know. So uh, basketball, just really bring it out. You want to jump higher, run faster, and outsmart your opponent. And, and that's, an, and that's an, on any level in any sport. I can remember real quick, like, you know, one of my tactics um, in regards to a free throw shooter. Somebody shooting a free throw, I would always have something to say, oh, you're going to miss this shot. Under my breath so the referee wouldn't hear. Right, hey, step. I'm going to get the ball. I'm going to go coach the ball. Oh, yeah, Nigga, basketball is my thing. That's what I did to stay out of trouble. I go play ball. I used to play ball for like eight hours a day. Get up at like eight o'clock in the morning on the weekends. Don't 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 come home till like eight o'clock at night. Playing the game of basketball. You don't want to be out of control. Everything got to be in sync. Oh, I can get you assist, okay. Everything like from the crossover to you pulling up on, all in one motion. That's how I be living life, one motion.